Hi, thanks for joining me for today's devotion. Jonah chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. How powerful is God's word in our hearts? God's word that we speak to others? The account of Jonah offers us a surprising answer. There's a condition called oppositional defiant disorder. Some children feel a uniquely strong compulsion to oppose every direction they're given. When it comes to sin, it's not just some of us with this problem. We all have it in our sinful nature. All we can do is oppose God. So when he tells us to be content in our sinful flesh, we whine. He tells us to serve humbly, we crave attention. He tells us to spread his word, we keep it to ourselves. And when the Lord tells Jonah, his prophet, to preach repentance to the people in the city of Nineveh, Jonah boards a ship and heads in the opposite direction. But God wouldn't let him do it. He sent a great fish. The fish swallowed up Jonah. Jonah repented. And the Lord forgave his sin for the sake of the Savior. And as Jonah spent three days in the belly of the fish, so the Savior would spend three days buried in the heart of the earth. And as the fish spit Jonah up on dry land, so the Savior would rise from the dead for the sins of Jonah, the sins of the world, the sins in you and me. And after the fish spit Jonah up on dry land, the Lord came to Jonah a second time, as we hear in our verse for today. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. And this time, Jonah went. Sometimes it takes a hardship to wake us up. Suffering and trouble we endure in this world has a way of tempering sinful pride, humbling us, leading us to lean on the Lord for help, not just help with the things we're suffering, but help for us. We sinners need all the help we can get. So wherever you've been in life, whatever you're doing, whatever's going on, listen, that same Savior who meant rescue for Jonah is your forgiveness too, fellow believer. And the one who let himself be crucified, who died and who was buried three days, buried your sins with him. The one who rose from the dead has raised you from spiritual death. And the one who still lives will raise you to eternal life. You and I belong to the Lord now through Jesus, our Savior. And now he loves us all the way through this world and its troubles. And he will love us all the way into heaven. And now, like Jonah, we can take the saving message of God to others. Even to those we might not think will pay attention. When Jonah preached repentance to the people of Nineveh, the impossible happened. They repented. They listened. They turned to the Lord for help. And the Lord forgave them. How powerful is the word of God in human hearts? The answer is surprising. It's so powerful, he can take someone opposed to him and win them completely over to his side. So powerful that he even converted you and me. So what can he do in the hearts of the others that we tell his word to? Well, there's only one way to find out. See you next time.